National Prosecuting Authority or the NPA's head, Advocate Shamila Batohi, says that she's very concerned about the NPA's decision to withdraw charges against the ANC Mayor Mlule Gindobe and Municipal Manager Zweli Pansis Kwasana. Just last year, remember, the NPA lost two court cases related to the Estina Dairy Farm when the court ruled that the NPA has failed to provide enough evidence to substantiate the allegations both in the preservation order and, of course, the restraint applications. Now, later in a related case, the institution wrote to the legal representation of the Guptas on the Estina Dairy Farm case, informing them about its intention to provisionally withdraw the charges. Now, this conduct raises serious concerns and questions about the institution. I mean, is it issues of incapacity and negligence, or is it the political environment that they're working in? Well, to discuss this further, we have Sandy Leswana from the Wirt School of Governance with us here in studio and uh, Otila Maunganidze from the Institute for Security Studies. A very good morning to you too. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Sipia. Mr. Swan, I'm going to start with you. Uh, Indeed, it's an absolute pleasure. I'm going to start with you. Uh, Now, Shamila Batoui said she's very concerned at the withdrawal of charges uh, against ANC Mayor Mr. Mlule Gindobe. I mean, uh, so what is really happening at the NPA? Is it really issues of incapacity plaguing the the institution? Uh, You could say, I mean, the issues of incapacity have been uh, mentioned, but um, in this case, the provincial directors of the NPA have, uh, after the fact, what we know for sure is that after the fact, they have gone back and looked at and said that it was justified that they withdraw the the court cases, uh, the the charges. Now, the issue here is whether when Mlule Kindobe was added, because the case was already pre-existing, was added as an accused, a correct procedure was followed to add him to the existing court case because people were already arrested uh, and charged for the same matter of uh, Cindy Somakak. So that is where we have an issue. And this issue of capacity, we need to be very careful about it because our law schools are very good. Mm -hmm. People from first year are taught these things. They are taught about evidence and criminal procedure and so on. So just to get those basics right should not be too difficult. Mm-hmm. I mean, the issue of the murder of Cindy Somakaka was a very uh, highly political case, and a politician has been implicated in that particular case. So uh, don't you think that uh, there is political interference in the withdrawal of these charges? I mean, I can't be talking about the NPA without talking about political interference. Yeah, I, I think we have to look at it that there are a number of players here that have to be considered. And uh, the Muerane report, which deals with killings in the same province, highlighted a number of areas of concern. The issue of, of political interference, if you like, how they, the politicians are able to buy, to, to buy the police. Because the people who gather the evidence are not the prosecutors, it's the police who must gather evidence, investigate the crime. So there has been a process which is confirmed in the Moerane report that that process has been uh, compromised. So the compromise of then the value chain of justice, if you like, from the police to the um, prosecutors and so on, by politicians for purposes at the end of the day, this is about eating tenders. This is about people who want to, to access the supply chain. So you have to look at the whole value chain of what is going on. What we can talk about is compromise, yeah. not incompetence, compromise. Okay. Now, Otilia, I want to bring you into this conversation. I mean, the integrity of the NPA has once again been brought to the fore. Uh, I mean, you've heard Mr. Swana saying that uh, the, the, you know, the, the cause of justice is really being, in, 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 being a, an impediment. So I want you to take us through some of the legal considerations that the NPA uh, goes through in order to drop uh, cases of such magnitude. Uh, right, and I think just to take a step back a bit and, uh, and restate the role that the various actors in the criminal justice system have to play, from the police, the investigators who deal with the particular matter, and the NPA. And by the time the NPA makes a decision to either suspend a prosecution or to withdraw charges, uh, and not indefinitely, and I think that's the point that needs to be clarified here, that the decision was not that charges could not be reinstated or that the case could not proceed, but that evidence at the moment is insufficient to be able to secure a conviction. 
for the NPA, any prosecutor, whether at a regional level or local court, um, they have to make sure that the case that they've built against a person is sufficient for them to be able to secure a conviction beyond a reasonable doubt. That's not always easy, particularly if it's a matter, a high-profile case as this, where there's a, a number of different actors who could be influencing uh, investigations and or how the... Um, how information is collected and received by the NPA. So if the DPP in this case feels that the matter does not have sufficient evidence, then she'll have to show um, that what she has at the moment wouldn't be enough to be able to secure a, prosecu uh, a successful prosecution, rather. Does it then give us hope, or rather, should it give us hope, hearing uh, Shamila Batoi saying that the withdrawal of these charges concerns her? I mean, is that good enough? Well, hearing from the National Director for Public Prosecutions that uh, you need to be able to get that right amount of evidence and that prosecutions need to start. These are cases going back several years. Uh, with Cindy So, for example, this relates to a murder that's now two years old. And so for the National Director for Public Prosecutions, it's particularly important to demonstrate that uh, evidence is being gathered and that prosecutions are done. So for those who are waiting, which is the majority of us, for justice to be served in these cases, uh, it does give some hope that the national director has taken it upon herself to direct her DPPs to act accordingly. Having said that, do you then get the sense that she's actually denouncing the decision to withdraw charges against Ndobe? Uh, at this point, I think it's less about whether it's the person who is charged and more about uh, the NDPP feeling that the matter should go to trial. Okay. Mr. Swana, if Shamila Batoi says she is concerned by the decision taken by her office, uh, does that mean she wasn't part of the decision-making process, as would be expected of every NPA head to be part of that process? Yeah, my understanding is that the, at the provincial level, there's sufficient capacity to make these decisions. I mean, uh, Shamila cannot be part of every uh, 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 prosecution. And uh, as Begitele mentioned, there are six of these cases that have been, where charges, give or take, have been uh, withdrawn. It's not just one, the one of Mdulekindov. The point of it is that you cannot take a case to prosecution where it is clear even to yourself as a lawyer, mm -hmm. a prosecutor, that you, you have not gathered enough evidence. Because there will be a time in the process where you are asked whether you are ready to proceed. And if, in fact, you know you are not ready to proceed, you need to disclose that. Yeah. That you are not ready to proceed, we've not collected. Now, the question on the table is whether during this two-year period, since the, the attempted murder and subsequent death of uh, 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 Magarka, what, what have the police been doing? Because they are the ones who are supposed to be going up and down, collecting the correct and relevant evidence, connecting all the actors to the crime. And when you add people to the, to, 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 to the case, you, there must have been a clear, direct connection between those people and the crime. Because a criminal case is the most difficult case compared to a civil, civil case. As Otila says, you must prove beyond reasonable doubt. It must be obvious and plain. You can't be using rumors and, and suspicions to say you have a case. Although we are bitter about the death of Makaka and others, um, the case must be put together beyond reasonable doubt. And, right. and, and Shamila is correct. If her own people allow the police to bring shame, uh, uh, um, evidence that is not up to standard, she has a right to be concerned whether they are following due process, etc., etc. All right. Let's leave it there for now. We'll certainly continue our conversation after the break. Uh, we are in conversation with Sandy Deswana from the Vet School of Governance and uh, Otila Maunganiza from the Institute for Security Studies talking to us about the capacity issues plaguing the National Prosecuting Authority. We'll certainly continue with our conversation after the break. We'll take a coffee break for now.